Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me here on IPO Market Watch. If you're new to this channel, I cover initial public offerings, which is the IPOs, the new stocks going public on the stock market, blank check companies, uh, direct listings for sure. Now, occasionally, b besides the IPOs, which is a guaranteed thing on this channel, I also do other things like stocks, sometimes cryptos, and so on. This is a video that has nothing to do with IPOs. It is about the five best green energy stocks. In my opinion, although I can say with certainty, I can tell you with certainty that there are plenty of other stocks that are equally in the top five. But because I can't put everything in the top five, I'll show you these. And uh, of course, there are plenty more. All right. So green energy stocks haven't always performed as well as expected. We've seen that from last year. They, they last year in late 2020, it was the hype. It was the whole rage. Green energy, green energy, renewable. Everybody was starting to get into them, and then most of them just went really back down to earth. Um, so yeah, even with years growing, even with years of growing adoption of solar, wind, hydroelectric, and other clean sources of power generation, investing in these underlying renewable energy stocks can be quite tricky. The International Energy Agency says that by mid 2020. 17 countries had set 100% zero emission vehicle targets that they would phase out the ICE vehicles by 2050 and so on. So there is the movement slowly around the, around the world and surely each year that goes by there will uh, be more countries and so on. So it will be in um, the interest to look at renewable energies. One is Clearway Energy Incorporation. All right? Ticket symbol is CWEN. It's currently at thirty-one dollars and eighty-three cents, and for the past four years, it was kind of flat, as you can see. And then, the starting two thousand twenty and uh, going forward, now it's higher than it ever was before. It is a good stock. It is a good company. I'm not going to do go into an in-depth, full analysis on each of these five in this video because that would have been forever. Uh, the time would take too long. We're just going to present them and then. You guys, if you want, can do due do, do, do diligence on them. So Clearway Energy Incorporation, that's one. The next one is Solar Edge Technologies. Market value is $14.7 billion for Solar Edge Technologies. Their 2020 revenue is $1.5 billion. And uh, so let's look a little bit about this. Without solar inverters, inverters, home and businesses cannot harness the power of solar energy for power. These inverters convert, convert direct current and solar power into alternating current used by appliances and other electronics. Solar Edge Technologies is one of the world's largest makers of solar inverters. The Israelite company saw a compound annual growth rate of 31.4% from 2016 to 2020. Earnings per share rose 54% overall in the same period. So what's more is that the company's total assets are nearly double its total liabilities 2.6 billion compared to 1.4 billion as of June 30th. And Solar Edge is right now at $275 a share, but still has plenty of room to grow. SEDG is the ticket symbol. Next is Atlantica Sustainable Infrastructure. Market value is 4.3 billion. 2020 revenue was $1.01 billion. All right, so from a wind farm of in Uruguay to a solar electric generation facility in California. Atlantica Sustainable Infrastructure puts its capital to work in the sustainable energy industry. The UK-based company owns or has stake in solar, wind, hydroelectric, and other sustainable energy um, facilities and assets in North and South America, as well as certain markets in Europe, Middle East, and Asia. Atlantica operates long-running assets. The weighted average contracted life left is 16 years with regulated revenues underpinned by contracts, which results in stable cash flows. All of the assets also have project financing in place, the company says. So about 72% of Atlantica's holdings are renewables, 14% are in efficient natural gas, 11% in transmission, and 3% in water. The stock is currently trading at $35.76. I think it is still cheap and has plenty of room to grow. AY is the ticket symbol, and you're looking at the five-year chart. Next, surprising, is NEO. Uh, when you think about renewable energy stocks, not many people go to NEO, but it is part of the renewable energy 
industry and is a good one. Market value is 63.9 billion. 2020 revenue was 2.5 billion. So NIO has been called the Tesla of China. It makes sleek and innovative vehicles boasting features such as floating car displays, two-spoke steering wheels, invisible smart air vents, masha seats, sensor, radar, soft opening doors, and autonomous driving, and also battery swap. And uh, so a solid state battery for its cars is coming in 2023 that will offer 620 plus mile range exceeding Tesla's top range. The company recently announced it was expanding into Norway in its first foray outside of China and going into Europe. So Neo recently beat June quarter earning estimates uh, and Misuzo, Mizuho uh, has a buy rating on the company, says the firm delivered overall strong ex execution. So Neo is currently trading at $35.38. NIO is the ticket symbol, five year chart. So the next stock is Ford. Ford makes uh, Ford uh, market value is 52.6 billion, 2020 revenue $127 billion. And I know it sounds, you know, like some people may not believe that Ford is part of the renewable energy, but it is, or at least it is taking major steps to become a big time renewable energy stock. So it is one of the world's largest automakers who founded, whose uh, founder, Henry Ford, brought the gasoline-powered automobile to the masses, and now that this company is doubling down on going green. No doubt it saw the trend towards electric vehicles. This shift was emphasized by its May 26 investor meeting, where it outlined the Ford Plus plan. So Ford Plus includes a goal of for 40% of the automaker's global vehicle volume to be electric by 2030, including the Mustang Mach-E, which is already on the market, the, F, the F-150 Lightning pickup, which will go on sale next year. E-Transit commercial vans will debut later in 2021. And Ford also raised its total spending on electrification to more than $30 billion by 2025. This includes investments in battery technology, development, and production. Here is the Ford Motors Company's uh, their share price, five years, $13.78. I understand that it wasn't always doing great, but I expect it from here on to really do much better. And the uh, ticker symbol is F. Green energy stocks that I really like. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorites are. Thank you very much for watching. And I wish you guys all the best. Take care.